Hi everyone, I am Donna Newman. Um, I am Doodlebug Stitcher and welcome to my channel. Um, this is a new thing for me um, and I say I'm a lot so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I have been stitching for about 30 plus years. Um, I was taught by my grandmother. Um, I was about 10 years old. So um, she taught me how to cross stitch. Probably my first pieces were done on pla plastic canvas and I graduated uh, from there to Ada. And then I graduated from there into um, stitching over two. So, um, because I'm new to all of this, please bear with me. Um, I hope you can stick around. Uh, this video is basically to introduce myself um, and try to tell you why I have decided to do this channel. I am a recent cancer survivor. Last year I was diagnosed with ca cancer and I've spent the last year going through treatment and finally got a semi-clean bill of health. So I um, wanted to do this. This is part of my therapy to kind of get me back into the swing of things. And I am such a um, passionate stitcher. I love to stitch. Um, it's one of my favorite hobbies to do. And I thought, what better way to kind of do the things that I like to do and talk about them. So that's what led me to do a floss tube and um, have videos on YouTube. So hopefully you'll stick around and watch me. Um, I decided to do, let me get my notes here. I decided to do the Know Your Needle Worker tag, um, which was from Whimsadaisical on YouTube and I'll tag her below in um, the notes. Um, so um, hopefully that'll give you some more information. Um, question number one, where do you live? I currently reside in Wilmington, Delaware. I have, was born here, grew up here in the late 90s. Sorry for that, that's my daughter in the background. Um, in the late 90s, I moved with my then husband to um, Florida, and so I lived in Orlando for a few years, and I worked for Disney, and I subsequently got divorced and I moved back to Delaware, and I met my current husband, and that was about 17 years ago and we have lived in the area ever since. I actually live, the house that we live in now is right around the corner from the house that I grew up in. So my parents live right up the street from us, so that's, it's very nice. Um, question number two, what do you do for a living? Um, as I said, I'm a cancer survivor, so last year I had planned to go back to, I had planned to start to find a full-time job last year right around the time I got diagnosed. So understandably, my plans were kind of put on hold. So I am currently um, a homemaker. I, my husband works full-time, my daughter's in school. Um, I spend most of my days fiddling around, stitching. Wouldn't that be lovely to just get paid to stitch all day? Um, but I'm currently trying to find work full-time or part-time, whatever. I can find at this point. Um, question number three, do you have children? Yes. <laughs> My daughter was just here in the room. Um, I have one daughter. She is seven years old. She is just finishing up first grade. Um, she's seven going on 22. She's a spitfire with an attitude. Um, you may see her from time to time. My husband and I really haven't talked a lot about her being on video and and all of that. So that may or may not happen, but you will hear me talk about her a lot because she is um, the light of my life and I love her to death. And um, she's very interested. I'm hoping to teach her over the summer how to stitch. So I'll be passing that along. So that will be fun. Um, number four, do you have any pets? Currently, no, um, but that may change in the very near future. 
Um, we do, from time to time, dog sit for my mother. So um, it says, uh, number five, what are your other hobbies besides stitching? I like um, a lot of social media, so I'm big into Facebook. I also um, still um, paper planner, so um, like planners and stickers and, and all of that. Um, but my biggest hobby right now is my stitching. So I found it very therapeutic for me um, while I was going through my treatment this past year. So um, I want to keep up with that. What is your favorite movie, number six? Hmm. I like, uh, one of my favorite movies is The Patriot, um, back from the late 90s. Um, I'm, I studied history in college, so I loved that movie um, that has um, Mel Gibson in it. Um, I was a huge Titanic fan. I saw Titanic in the theaters over 65 times just between when it opened and when the Oscars. Um, so yeah, I was a little fanatical about Titanic. Um, I, I love historical um, uh, historical movies. I love dramas. I don't like horror movies. They're not my favorite. My husband loves them, but I can't. No. I'd rather watch a documentary. I'm, I'm big into documentaries. I'm like a geek when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, what is your favorite TV show? Hmm. Hmm. I like, um, I like, uh, like home, like HGTV, I love, um, I love Fixer Upper. If I, if I could move somewhere, I'd want to move to Texas and be Chip and the Gaines' neighbor. I would love that. Um, I do like, um, all the, like, the Chicago shows, so I like Chicago Med and Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. Um, I'll always be a fan of Grey's Anatomy. Um, I really like, I watch a lot of TV on Netflix and Hulu, so I watch a lot of BBC stuff, and they have some, like, um, you know, house hunter type um, programs, but they're UK based, so it's cool. If I would, my dream would, my international dream would be to live in England. I would, I would absolutely die and go to heaven if that happened. Um, my husband tells me that there's a possibility that he could get, he could put in for a transfer to his one of his employer's facilities in England. I'm like, please, please do that. I would love that. Like, I don't care if I have to move away from my family. Please do it. Uh, what is your favorite book? I love... I'm sitting here at my bookshelf now. I love Ellen Hill, 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 Hildebrand. I'm going to say her name wrong. Hold on. Let me pull the book out. Ellen Hildebrand. I love her books. I have almost all of them in hardback. Um... So I like those. I like any kind of historical biography. Um, John Adams, um, Thomas Jefferson, anything uh, like that. Um, I like a lot of World War II um, novels, those types of things. So anything historical goes back to my, um, my, what I studied in college. So I'm kind of just relatively drawn to that. But um, I also like books that are set in Hawaii. My husband and I got married in Hawaii, and um, we loved it there. We got off the plane, and I was like, I don't want to ever go home. Um, but we did, and um, our dream is to someday go back and take our daughter with us. Um, number 10, what one word best describes you? I don't know. <laughs> um, what word best describes me? Um... I am, mm, it's not really one word, I am very loyal, like if, if you are my friend or, you know, if I, if I, you know, if I'm your friend, I'm in it for the long haul and it's only when, if, you know, if you, 
you know, do something negative or something like that that affects me personally, that would that would totally end our friendship because it, you know, you have to care about somebody. I care deeply. I guess that would be the, the thing. I am very caring. I care deeply about um, not only you, the other person, but about who I am, oh, how that person affects me. So, um, you know, in that uh, in that retrospect, I'm very. Um, that would be my word. So, um, it is a stitching. This is floss tube, so, you know, we have to talk about stitching. Um, so, since this is my first video, I thought I would show you um, a, little, a couple of the prior pieces. These are older pieces. These were done at least um, 20 years ago or older. Um, I only picked my, I had stopped stitching right before my daughter was born. She's seven now. And I hadn't really picked it back up again until I got my diagnosis and I needed something that would help occupy my mind why I'd have to sit for hours, um, you know, at doctor's appointments and treatment and all of that. And so I'd have IVs hooked up to me and I'd sit and stitch. So that's how I got back into this. Um, but I have all of my stitching that I've completed over the years. So I pulled out a few pieces and I thought I would share them with you today. Um, kind of give you an idea and an insight on the kind of stitcher that I am um, and what I like. Um, so the first one, my daughter has already claimed this. So she's, I've already got this plan that I have to figure out some finishing. Um, so this one is by Kind Hearted Woman and it's a pattern called Quilted Kitty, and I'll hold it up there so you can see it. Oh, um, I haven't figured out this camera thing yet, so you can see it there. It was really fun to stitch, and it had it was done with a lot of over dyed threads. That's one of my preferences is to stitch with over dyed threads. So I do stitch with DMC, um, but if it's um, weak style works or gentle arts or um, um, you know, any of the other thread um, over dyers, I gravitate towards those. So um, that's what you'll see in a lot of my stitching. Um, but I still stitch projects that are all DMC and I have no problem with that. Um, it's just I like the variegation and the uniqueness of the over dyed threads and what they bring to the, the project. So, but my daughter loves these colors. So she has already said, Mommy, that's mine. Remember, you said that was mine, so I have to remember that. Um, the second piece, um, this was stitched, I want to say, this piece was probably stitched about at least 20 years ago, if not longer. Um, this is by Shepherd's Bush, and it's one of my favorite pieces that I finished from them. And this is a kit. A all right, we're going to have to figure this out. This is a kit called Trick or Treat, and it's gorgeous. And I really did, I'll hold it closer to the camera so you can see it there. I really loved stitching this, and I really loved how it came out, um, you know. But I really took my time with it and made sure that all of because these kits come with the silk. Um, so I really made sure I, I, you know, took my time with it and was really um, gentle with them because, you know, when you stitch with silk, it can be really fragile, but I just love how it, it came out and I've had stitching and I usually give my pieces away. I shouldn't say usually. Usually I finish a piece to the point where it's finished and I could put it out or hang it on the wall. But instead of keeping it, I've given it away. I think I have currently maybe two pieces that I still own that are actually finished and, and displayed somewhere. But the rest, I have a couple of Christmas pieces um, and they come out only at Christmas time, um, a pillow that I did. Um, but my mom has several pieces that I've given her, my sister and other relatives. You know, I stitch and give it away as a Christmas gift um, because it's a labor of love and 
they, the people that receive it appreciate it. So, um, but my goal now is to do more stitching for me um, and things that I can display and be proud of. And um, so I'm, you know, I'm frantically trying to learn finishing techniques and um, the, um, so I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos on that. Um, Vana is one of the, the, um, the video channels that I watch and I save. I have, I have a, a playlist that I, you know, created and I keep adding to that folder and so that I can save different finishing techniques and go back and, and really watch them and execute them well. Um, and so... I'm excited to learn all of the stuff about finishing. And I watch um, The Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. Um, shout out to Priscilla and Chelsea. Hey, ladies. Um, but they are the ones that, by watching their videos, I thought, my gosh, they're having so much fun. I want to have fun like that. And I'm really, really inspired and awed by the finishing that Priscilla does. And I aspire to, you know, to be, uh, be as good as she is with her finishing, and I only wish I had an, a pinky's worth of her talent because it's phenomenal. Um, so I hope to learn a lot. And um, when I first discovered them on YouTube, I binge watched. I seriously, I binge watched all of their their YouTube channel in like a day and a half. <laughs> you know, in between. You know, school pickup and dinner. I was watching Priscilla and Chelsea, so um, so I'm really excited. And I've got a lengthy list of wish lists just from their videos, um, which is fun. Um, and then the last piece I'm going to show you today is one of my favorite designers. You will start to see over the course of this channel. I am a huge fanatical fan of Lizzie Kate and I was so heartbroken when she announced that they she and her husband were going to retire this year so I frantically um, made sure that I you know went through and and picked out all the the charts that I wanted and and have been frantically searching for them and I, I had ordered some that were like must-haves and now I'm trying to get additional ones that I wanted to get um, before they're, you know, $50 or more on eBay, which I don't want to pay. Um, but this is one of my Lizzie Cates that I finished years and years ago. Um, it was so much fun to stitch and I loved the buttons that I, I did with it. Um, they're like a hematite button, but this is Slice of Freedom. And I'm right now trying to concentrate on getting things for the upcoming season so like summer things and uh, patriotic things I want to go ahead and get those done and finished um, so that I have things to put out this area behind me is as you come in my front door um, it's basically my kind of like focal wall and I have things up on the wall that stay there and things that I switch out and then I put out um, seasonal displays on top of the bookcase so this is primarily where I want to put those things in, in my living room, which is where I'm filming at. Um, so I hope to, you know, start to incorporate more of those kinds of displays behind me and getting stuff like this finished um, and actually finished to display out is my goal. So that's what I'm going to be working on in addition to stitching. Um, one of the other things I wanted to mention is um, Tuesday is May 1st, which is the start of Stitch Mania. Yay! Um, one of my good friends um, had told me about um, Stitch Mania, and I had never heard of it. And I was like, what is Stitch Mania? Sorry, my... I should have turned my phone off. I'm so sorry. Um... So anyway, I was talking. Um, another shout out is my friend Brittany. Brittany Williams, she's on Facebook as well. Or I'm sorry, she's not only on Facebook, but she's on YouTube as well. Um, she had told me, I didn't know she had a, a YouTube channel, and she had told me about Sitch Mania, and I was like, what is, what, what is that? And so she told me, and I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. And then 
the more and more I thought about it, I'm like, well, maybe I can. And then, of course, once I started watching all the YouTube videos and saw how many other floss tubers out there were, you know, jumping in and doing it, I thought, you know what, I can do this. So um, I plan to get another video made in the next day or so that has all of my stitch mania. Um, and that way I can show you what I'm working on, what I'm planning to work on this month. Um, and hopefully you'll maybe see something that um, might inspire you. Um, but um, just to finish up, I again want to thank you uh, for watching this. Um, hopefully um, hit the subscribe button. I think, it, no, it's this way, sorry. <laughs> I'm backwards in the viewfinder. So um, hit the subscribe button, which you'll see down there. And um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I am at Doodlebug Stitcher. On Facebook, I'm at, uh, you'll find me as Donna Newman. Just look for this mug. Um, and um, please, you know, follow me. I'd love to, you know, tag me if you see anything or you're inspired by me. That would be wonderful. And I hope to see all of you here again soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.